Boys, I need you to take a moment right now. Look, prepare yourself mentally, emotionally, sexually. It is happening, fellas. We are getting three tap hand cannons back. Now, for those of you that have only played Destiny 2, prepare yourselves. So we saw the clip today. Bungie posted this out. Essentially, guys, they're going to be going over time to kill adjustments next Tuesday. And now remember, guys, the TTK changes that we're going to be looking at, those will be live August the 28th. That means they will be live a week before Forsaken drops. So if you're on the edge, you're wondering, wait a minute, am I even going to like what's about to happen? Wait, hold up. You don't have to pre-order just yet. And that's honestly what I recommend to everyone. I have a lot of people jump in the stream and ask me, should I pre-order the game? And, and my answer is, if you want to wait till the 7th, wait till the 7th so you can actually look and see what the damage numbers are and get an idea of what Crucible is going to look like. If you want to actually get your hands on it and play with it, you've got an entire week to play with the time to kill changes when it goes live at the end of the month before you ever have to make a decision. And these are people that are more or less Crucible players. These are guys that are committed to the sandbox. They like the old sandbox from D1. And a lot of these guys have left Destiny because D2 did not have a similar sandbox. Now let's talk time to kill, guys. What are we looking at exactly? What is a three-tap hand cannon? And how fast is that really? It's very fast. It's actually at 0.87 seconds. Now I say it's fast, but it was definitely a time that was manageable back in Destiny one but in terms of d2 yes that is much quicker than what we look at with most of our other ttks on our weapons now the big thing with these three tap hand cannons and this was the problem with them in destiny one is that they have to be crit reliant now we see three headshots here in d1 it was actually one headshot and two body shots to get the kill the crit damage was 86 there and 57 a body shot this was not a crit reliant weapon only one of your shots had to be a crit and the rest you can just spam into the body so there was a lot of complaints here understandably in d2 we've already seen a little bit of gameplay of a 600 round per minute auto rifle hitting essentially the same thing that it hit back in destiny 1 in terms of crit to crit damage but its body shot damage stayed exactly the same as it is already in destiny 2 so again guys we're looking at a 0.87 second ttk for our 140 round per minute hand cannons we spoke about the 600 round per minute auto rifles we're looking at a 0.9 second optimal time to kill with that as well so when analyzing next week and i'll be putting out a video right after the stream we're going to be touching up on everything in terms of time to kill values and what we're looking at in all of these weapons we have to analyze what's the optimal time to kill and what's the forgiveness of the weapon how many of these shots do not have to be crit shots overall this time to kill adjustment is a good thing guys and remember this is not just a global buff to our time to kill for weapons it is also a global buff to our abilities meaning our abilities will actually be hitting a tad bit harder as well. So guys, I'm excited, man. This is something that we've been needing. I hope you guys are excited. I know a lot of my OG Destiny players, man, that love the hand cannons and love the way the sandbox felt back in Destiny 1. I know you gotta be excited for this because I am so happy that this is finally happening. It's happening not after Forsaken, not after we have to pay money for this DLC. It's happening right now, and we're gonna actually be able to see footage of it next week on the 7th and then actually get our hands on it on the 28th. Well, fellas, that is the video. Guys, thank you all for coming and watching, and as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right.